Welcome to another Gender Pro tutorial. In this video, we're going to look at adopted and foster children and how to create them in Gender Pro. So I'm going to start with uh, creating a simple family by using the family wizard. And I'm going to name this as bio father, bio mother. And I am going to add one children, one child, sorry. Gonna set it as male and click OK, click OK. So now I actually have a family here. Now we're going to label these two as deceased. We are going to assume that they are deceased. So I'm gonna select them, right click on there, and I'm going to um, select the option as it labeled them as individuals deceased, and now both of these parents are deceased. So now that this child has parents, and if I go to the child and I choose to add new parents to that child, which can be done uh, in, by simply right clicking and selecting the new parents option, or I can actually also select them and go to the create parents option right here, new, new parents. When I do that, Gender Pro is going to ask me if I want to add adoptive parents because this child actually already has parents. So I'm going to say yes. With that, I basically now have another set of parents with the link uh, symbolizing that that is an adoptive child. So I'm going to move these up a little bit and I'm going to double click on them and give them names. Okay and double click on the mother. Okay. And with that, I can also label the relationship and I'm going to double click on this and link and going to call them. As you can see, we can label a lot. So it can be very obvious for anybody looking at our genogram. And that's one way to um, add a child uh, have adoptive parents. But we can also do that with any uh, individual that actually already is in our genogram. So I'm gonna create one, I'm gonna create a female. And I'm going to name her. Okay, great. So the way to tie a person uh, any person to existing parents is fairly simple. I click on her and I select the option as link as child and I'm going to click on that and link it to this relationship right here. And great, so that person is actually not now a child of uh, these two parents. So right now it's labeled as a biological relationship, um, but I am going to double click and change that link to a adoptive child. So you can basically follow that same process to set it as a foster child also, but we're gonna do a foster child now in a different way. So another way to add a child is simply by clicking and using this or this button here, right here. So this adds a new daughter, which is what I'm going to do. And now that we have another daughter, and I'm gonna say foster. Oops. I am missing a G there, okay. And again, I can simply double click that relationship, that link, and I'm going to set it as a foster child. I can actually move the mother over here. And so we've seen three ways of adding childs and label them as adoptive or uh, foster. Hope this video was useful. And uh, if you'd like to see more videos, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel. So that will motivate us to keep creating them.